Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we'll explore the difference between dependency and the dev dependency. So without wasting time, let's get started. When you open a popspec.yaml file, you will find two kinds of dependencies. First is the dependency, second is a dev underscore dependency. Before we understand the difference between dependencies and the dev underscore dependency, let's understand first what's the exact use of these dependencies. Dependencies is used to specify the packages, that is the libraries that our project is using. You might know that that works in two different phases, the development phase and the deployment phase. So if you haven't watched my video, how that works, I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and watch that video where I explain how that works in development and in deployment phase. The dependencies that we need for deployment phase needs to be specified inside these dependencies and the dependencies that we need only for the development phase must be specified inside this particular dev underscore dependencies. It means whatever dependencies we specify here, it will be added as a part of deployment code that you will be uploaded inside the Play Store. On other hand, Whatever dependencies that you specify inside this dev underscore dependencies, it won't be added as a part of the deployment code. It will be only used for the development side. That is, whenever your final code gets ready, all the dependencies inside this dev dependencies won't be added in your finally deployed code. For example, we use the dependency in order to create the splash screen or the launcher icons. Once flash screen and launcher icons has been created, there is no actual need of these dependencies in the finally deployed code. That's the reason these dependencies must be placed inside the dev dependencies. On other hand, when we have the dependencies in order to pick up the images, to work with the Firebase or maybe to work with the SQLite, such a dependencies needs at the development phase as well as for the deployment phase. So that kind of dependencies must be placed inside the dependencies, not inside the dev dependencies. Now you might have a big question, what happens if I go on placing all the dependencies inside the dependencies, whether it is a normal dependency or it is actually a development time dependencies. So it doesn't bother for your application, but unnecessarily it will increase the size of your application. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I am explaining the concept, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.